Well, research shows people form opinions about us within seconds of contact. However, within just a few minutes, you can change the validity of their impression of who you are. Here to make ways uh, to make a lasting impression in less than five minutes is Miss Travisha Williams. Welcome Good morning, back. Ladies. You're like our resident girl. <laughs> I love it. We're so glad to have you. Now, so when when I read about this, my first thought was, I don't care what people think. Yes, you, know, you screw do. Screw them. <laughs> but in in reality, with our job interviews, you have to make a first impression with people. It is is very important. So what are we doing wrong and what can we do right? Well, you know what? The uh, New York uh, University study shows that people make uh, up to 11 decisions about you within the first seven seconds. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. 11? So what, they, what things are they looking Eleven, for to make that decision? Well, things like your, they can, they discern your credibility, your trustworthiness, your believability, your sophistication, your level of education mm -hmm. and economic status, things like that. Wow. Like, let's uh, be real. It's based on makeup, hair, what you're wearing, your grammar. Initially, facial initially. expressions. But the good news is that you have four minutes and 53 seconds <laughs> to change their minds through your body language and uh, your people skills. Well, thank mm -hmm. God, because that's more than seven seconds. So we're going to need that extra time. Yeah, absolutely. So the things you want to watch out for is your eye contact. Mm -hmm. You want to make really good eye contact and smile. You know, not a, a fake smile. You want to make sure your, it reaches your you eyes. You want to be genuine. Yeah, genuine. You want to come across as being smiling. genuine. Right. But not too smiley. Not too smiley. Because then you look like an airhead. Then it's fake. Right? Exactly. I mean, like, and then so there's a the reason being fake. to all this. There's a yeah, science. There's a science. Yes, yeah, this is. is complicated. Yeah, so again, your, your eye contact. And then you also want to have positive body language. You want to have good posture. Mm -hmm. You know, poor posture uh, tends to show a sign of low, low self-esteem. Self mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, so, so you, you want to be sitting up straight. Yeah. Well, you know, not. Or like, I don't want to be not, here. Yeah. Again. Exactly. You know. mm -hmm. Exactly. So positive body language. You also want to make sure you're listening attentively to them. So, you know, I love Mary, uh, a quote by Mary Kay says, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Mm -hmm. So listen attentively. Uh, it makes it more memorable. That's and so then true. also ask questions and find out how you can be of service to that person. Find out their needs, you know, uh, so that you can find out how you can help them. So it, it portrays you as a giver, not a taker. Mm -hmm. That's right. People mm -hmm. want to know you care. Exactly. And even in five minutes, you can make that happen. You can change the opinion of you. If you didn't, you know, have it together uh, visually with your hair, your makeup, and the way you're dressed, um, you can change the way they think about you mm -hmm. by the way you act. Mm -hmm. Or even, can I can I take it a step further, even if they have a preconceived notion of the type of person you are based on what they see on television, for example, mm -hmm. you can change someone's long-standing opinion about you within Absolutely. that five-minute Yeah, frame. a good example. I know you guys are watching Dancing with the Stars, right? Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Tavis Smiley, you know, was just saying, um, when you know, the, the, during the opening or premiere of the show, that, that he wanted to change people's way of you know, they, the way they saw him on mm -hmm, TV. Mm -hmm. So that's why he, he decided to do Dancing with the Stars. I saw that. Okay, so let's, let's switch this up a bit. What about when it comes to how we view ourselves? We were talking about, you know, selfies and, mm -hmm, and like, mm -hmm. you know, the selfie craze. And um, I think it's giving us a certain view of how we see ourselves. So mm -hmm. how do we make sense of all that? Well, I mean, it's, I mean, again, it's, it's all in the way that you perceive yourself exactly. Mm -hmm. But you do want to make sure that, you know, that positive self-image comes from the way you dress and the way you, you know, behave, the way you carry yourself. And that also, you know, gives you a great self of, uh, sense of self-confidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do think it's interesting, too. Like, there's just such a, a fine line between, you know, we like to say we don't care what people think and we don't want to mm -hmm. cater to, you know, I, I don't want to always have to be wearing makeup or always. But there's something about taking care of yourself and being the best visual mm -hmm. version of yourself. I'm not talking about, you know, being beautiful on the inside. We inside. know that's important, but being yeah. the best visual version of yourself really does sort of, it makes you stand up straight. Yeah, it makes you feel more confident mm -hmm. and it raises your self-esteem mm -hmm. for sure. So it is an important thing. Yeah. And I know people like to go, well, that doesn't matter. It's only what inside the count. But no, girl, <laughs> yeah, it External, matters. because that's the first thing people see. Right. That's right. It's your external appearance. The way so, you carry yourself. The way you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. Super and the way important. You're dressed. Yeah. Any tips on helping us remember people's names I am terrible <laughs> at names. I, you know, and that's I, very important I, if you're addressing them by name at an event or something of that nature. It certainly will will <laughs> help with the impression they have. Of I, I think it comes to down to having a really good memory. I yeah. mean, you know, and just paying attention you, you, when they paying talk. Paying attention when they're talking. Yeah, yeah. there's and tricks like say their name yeah. twice. Yeah. Say it twice. And, you know, exactly. associate it with something in your brain, like something it rhymes with, or something. And if you know. you're having a conversation, you're going to hear their name more than once anyway. So that's true. It's yeah. an opportunity to. It's true. To memorize it. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness, so much information. One of my favorite things went back to talking about how you make people. 
that quote that says, people may not remember what you said, but they'll always remember the way you made them feel. Mm -hmm. Absolutely they do. And I, yeah. I think that is so powerful and has so much to do with what you're talking about today. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow, well, a very short amount of time to change how people feel about you. We've all been there, right? So head to thebroadcasttv.com and check on today's links to get more details from Dr. Trevisha Williams. There's not a better morning eye opener than a Bloody, Bloody Mary, though, and we'll be opening our eyes to a fun festival this weekend when the broadcast returns. Cocktails. <laughs>